Welcome to the inner life of whiteness. But before I recite this, I acknowledge the land this rhyme's about to get dropped on, the shores that the hordes of pilgrims once stopped on, is the occupied and unceded land, the white hand depleted sands of the Port Tucker and the Massachusetts. Respect to the elders of the past, present, and future who grace the story territory upon which I deduce this. Another fact I need to bring in is the voice with which I'm singing, the music and rhythms with which I make this incision in the white skin of the American prism of the occupied and unceded voices of the black people of the US of A who blessed the day the sounds we call music were made. Now onto the topic upon which I will write this rhyme. The fires of time rage as I light this pyre. From the sleep to the new morning's brightness, shining on those in power to whom I bear likeness. I've been asleep for too long in silence that I fight this, till the weight of the grief and the briefness of life hit and I can no longer deny the wide eyes of my whiteness. So what is this tightness running up through my spine? This fear I cannot define. This love I left on the line. Signs telling me the whole time that I perpetrate this old crime of running from a shadow that's mine and only mine. See, whiteness is the lightness of being sure I could get alone. Make it home without being thrown to the ground with a knee on a collarbone. Or follow home to my own door and question, do you belong in this section, this white song with these green lawns, these white swans, these white pawns of uptight spawn and their lights gone and your sight drawing at this address. But I digress, let's caress this flow back to whiteness and go on a trip down to the soul where the people who know how to hide this feeling below that something is wrong. A spidey sense that the words of the song America the Beautiful were wrote with dutiful weight and a lack of debate on the true nature of the inner life of hate. <sighs> Make no mistake, my country's great. But let's be straight, it's got a shady past. And the fate of that history is that shade did last till this present swell. The shadow is alive and well, held in the voids and spelled by the laughs, the vast nest of emptiness in my chest where my frozen heart says it best. I don't want to feel this, it's just too much. I don't want to peel this onion because I'll cry and be touched by the pain of the hole in my soul, the one where the real story of America is told. Yeah, whiteness is sleep, the deep freeze of the soul. I say that I'm woke, but I'm still in the cold. And that I turn the lights out to keep the white out in the shadows that gather steam and knocks the fight out of us dreamers, free mercenaries of the feudal lords from our past lives. White trauma is a bitter sword to swallow, like knives through the hollow grounds of our forefathers, where to bother to follow down the lines of these poor waters, because we know what we found, we'll find. So we keep on denying and trying to decline the impact of our actions on black daughters and black sons. <sighs> this shit is real hard for us liberals to admit that racism and privilege are just the top of the tip of the iceberg that is whiteness. Deep down feelings of slightness like a speck of dust thrust from the pen that I write with in a vast universe with no purpose to bite with. So I bite lips to keep words upon which I might trip from leaving my mouth conceding the doubts of my uptightness. And I write this to sift through the good and lift up the hood on what's not understood about whiteness. Whiteness is the denial of three basic emotions. Anger, grief, and fear. It's clear on what we have been choking. Repress it all, push it down, don't touch it or approach it. No wonder we're all drowning, frowning, barely there we're floating on a surface of a deep blue ocean of sadness. I'm open in my room, I was hoping I had this beat. But I'm not the only whitey on the street saying one thing with my mouth and another with my feet. Mistreating bodies that are black, looking down at looking back over my shoulder, fearing an attack, told them white and they are black, that I'm higher on the stack, cracker that cannot be cracked, that it's in 10 over impact, what a racket. Cause if you breathe and step back, it's not that in fact it's clear, whiteness is fear. Masquerading is hatred. It's grief obfuscated by 12 generations. Whiteness is the longing for the song in the throats of black people who know how to survive and emote. It's an old coat of white paint chipping from wind and age, a tired old book that refuses to turn the page, a powder keg of anger, a kink toes of rage, a lazy gaze of a broken needle on a gauge trying to measure its return to the old days when America was old boys and gold rays, blazing from the shining city on a hill in a tower of power with a rifle will kill anyone who doesn't stand still long enough to swallow the white power pill. It's understood that whiteness is a hood with holes cut for the eyes. It's a tea party with red hats on white guys. It's a tiki parade of red flags that are waved to save statues that were made to honor traitors and enslavers. But the data shows that whiteness has 31 flavors. Blue stater, liberal now and later white savior. My foot in the pudding center of a Boston cream pie. Behind the good intentions of saying I'm not a mean guy. Whiteness is the life I live on the white side of the tracks. It's the extra mile between my house and the smokestacks. Whiteness is the constant fear of attack from people with skin that happens to be black. It's piety for a society that's lying, delighting, and trying, so we say while we go quietly denying every day that silent killer and afraid that ghost we love to better way that name we scared as fuck to say that name is whiteness. So say it. I'm white. I can sleep at night. So say it. I'm white, I can keep the fight out of my neighborhood. I'm white, I can act freely the fool. I'm white, I can choose my children's school. I'm white, I can act my age without being erased from the white paper page. Listen. James Baldwin Baldwin with the point of his pen. The sage of all men calling for the stalling to end. We waited long enough to pull this wool from our eyes. We heard this song enough, it's time to pause the reprise. The chorus, when we white people go back to sleep, put our asses out to pasture like a flock of white sheep. This mountain is steep, but every day of the week I want to feel, I want to peel the white onion, I want to speak up, but the fear keeps me meek and quiet before the week's up. 
The function of my deconstruction is not self-hating, but really self-loving, empathically relating to my fellow human beings through the act of fully seeing who is looking back at me when I step before the mirror. Clearer every day becomes that my reflection was a blessing, a straightforward progression, a whole lot of less messing, and the only second guessing I was doing was brewing in my own head, set by the bones fed to the skeletons in my undoing. I'm not pursuing the kumbaya that erases the history. This shit is love of self, embrace the mystery. Look, bad shit happened, happens, it's happening still. Black homes still getting broken, black bodies still getting killed. But whiteness doesn't discriminate when it comes to making pain. Whiteness erodes white bodies too, but slow like acid rain. Shortening the lifespan of white man, this fight cannot be maintained. Cause love of brother and sister can only come when love of self is on the one and only you become the perfect being you already are. Made from the rust to the belt and the dust to the stars, there's so much to be felt on the cusp of my scars. I'm tired of this fight, this flight, this freeze. These feelings are human, they're not a disease. Give me the beauty that grows from my grief, that awe for divine, that swell of relief. Give me the zeal for life that I feel when my fear of the knife and the night can be real. Give me resolve in the wake of my wrath, the clarity to walk on a bottomless path. I'm already whole, I don't have to be half. I'm allowed to be glum, I don't have to laugh. Don't have to be numb, don't have to be tough. Don't have to hold it together or prop myself up. I'm alive, I'm a white, and I'm enough.